Remember my first gasifier experiment? Now for the next step. Hi, so Survival Chef here. This is our second experiment doing the gasification system. We're trying to uh, um, start up a propane grill using the gasifier. Um, you can see that it lit and we are doing all natural hot dogs. In this experiment, we have three parts of our unit to test. First is the modified burner. Then there is the tar trap, or rudimentary fil filtration system. And last, there is a gas generator. In this experiment, the gas stove took a few minutes to get going from the cold start, but then it, when it did, it cooked the hot dogs quite nicely. The small amount of fuel on the inside of the gas generator lasted surprisingly a long time, but since this gas generator lacks air input, like some more elaborate generators, it creates quite a bit of tar. A possible of this use of this tar, if it were generated in any quantity, may be to treat the base of a fence post on a retreat to keep the bugs out. This tar would not be much of an issue in the use of some high efficiency, tar free gasifier designs. Come with me on a journey to the retreat of the imagination. Here you will find a backwoods cabin, sitting together with an ordinary outdoor wood furnace. Imagine there has been modified slightly with a little do-it-yourself innovation to serve a dual purpose. With the same wood fuel, one part of the furnace would be the ordinary water boiler and the other would be a gas generator. The water boil, boiler would serve its customary purpose of circulating heat into our backwoods home of the imagination, keeping its occupants nice and warm when it gets cold. The other appliances may be fed via the syngas generator portion of our furnace, which would also include safety shut-off valves and a system to clean the gas as it leaves the furnace. Imagine all the gas-powered appliances that would run in a raw situation if protein, propane or natural gas were not available. Please visit my websites at nancysworld.com and nancysdeepdiscounts.com. Have a good day.